up? It's Stacy from Cloud9 Slimer, and I'm back here today with another review. Well, this is actually for a trade I'm doing with Lacey Slimery. I will go ahead and link them all down below if you want to go check out their Instagram and their shop. I've never tried their slimes before, so I'm super excited to be trading with them. We traded three slimes, so I gave her three, she gave me three, and bada bing, bada boom, here we are. I have not even looked in the side of the package, so I'm excited to unbox it with you. So let's go see what's in it. So it looks like we have some candy in here, which I will for sure be eating. Don't worry. <laughs> We have three slimes as well as a little handwritten note. So it just says, hey Stacey, thanks so much for trading with me. I hope you like the slimes. And then she told me what slimes were in the package. So it looks like Sugar Plum Pop, micro, White Glue Microfloam, Scented Sugar Plum, Bubblegum Bliss, Icy, who I'm excited to see that, Scented Bubblegum, and Sour Bright Boba, uh, Milky, like Opaque Milky Clear, Scented Jelly Beans, and Gummy Bears, and then there's their at. Um, I'm super duper excited to smell these slimes because literally as soon as I open the package I could smell something very sweet and very nice. So I'm excited to see which slime it's coming from. So let's go ahead and unwrap these. Ooh, it looks like this one did leak a little bit but I'm for sure assuming because it's overfilled. And these two slimes look perfect. Ooh, I'm loving the Christmas logo. So this is her like normal logo. And then this one over here is like a Christmasified one. Super duper cute. Like I love how like different it is. I don't know. It just, it looks really cute. Um, so one did leak from what I could see, but I am pretty sure it's due to overfilling. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the slimes and touch them all. <laughs> The first slime we have here is Sugar Plum Pop. So this is the one that did leak. I can guarantee you it's due to overfilling. I actually had these containers for a little bit. And that is why A, I'm switching containers. And B, I started using like a heat seal on my slimes when I had these containers because um, they would leak in it. You know, it's not fun when slimes leak. She did bubble wrap it so nothing got ruined or anything, which was definitely great. The add-ins are super cute, and this is the one that the scent I could smell, like, through the box, you know, like, in the package before I even opened it. it smells really good, very sweet. I have a sugar plum scent. I think it's similar. I actually really like it. It's kind of, like, berry-like, and I, I like it. You guys know I love strawberry scents. This slime texture, to me, definitely feels like my, um breathe slime in my aromatherapy collection which is really nice i actually really like this texture it turns really airy and puffy and it creates the best bubble pops next slime is sour bright boba so i can guarantee this is probably one of her best sellers or at least a slime that she brings back a lot at least what i can um say from like when joining her lives people always talk about this slime it smells really good it smells like sour gummies which actually fits the slime really well the um beads are actually super cute like they're very bright and just give it the slime a really good touch adds a little bit of texture while not making it like too crunchy or too hard to stretch or anything like that it actually just gives it like a little little touch you know what i mean the scent is really nice smells very sour and like candy like i really enjoy it and the slime's super thick and glossy
The last slime is Bubblegum Bliss. Um, I haven't felt too many ices besides my own. I actually don't think I've really felt any ices from anyone. So I, I don't have too much knowledge on ices and like what other people prefer icy wise besides like the ones that I make myself. I wasn't sure what to expect with this one. It definitely did stick to my hands a bit, but my hands are decently dry at the moment just because I've been filming a lot for slime mist. So it definitely could be due to that. Um, I really did like the texture though. It was not as wet. Which I actually kind of like. It was more on the thick side. But I did wish it had more sizzles. I don't know how to describe it. I guess more of like the wet icy slimes have more of a sizzle to it than the dry ices. But I still like the texture. It did fluff up really nicely. But it did get pretty sticky. You know, obviously when you fluff it up. I mean, that's kind of like what ices do, I guess. Um, and the scent was really nice. It was a standard bubblegum scent. And I actually, I liked it. It smelled really nice. Thank you so much, Ella, for trading with me. I really liked all your slimes. They were honestly super unique textures. I mean, they definitely have really cute names as well. Like, literally names that I probably would never think of. Like, Sour Bright Boba. Like, I would never have thought of that. I literally hope you like my slimes. Uh, I really hope you like my slimes. Definitely go check them out. I'll have their links down below in the description box. But anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!